This video is all about measuring the performance of the new Bigger Context windows recently released by Anthropic and OpenAI. As we all know, the prompt is the most critical part of working with large language models, and the context window is a key limitation on the usefulness of our prompts. The longer the context window, the more powerful the large language model becomes, right? Well, not really. It all depends on how reliably the model can access the information in the context window. Both Anthropic's Claude and OpenAI's GPT-4 have recently pushed the boundaries of their context windows. Claude recently doubled its context window to 200,000 tokens, or roughly 470 pages of text, and GPT-4 boosted its limit to a context window of 128,000 tokens. However, as testing reveals, just fitting more into that context window doesn't guarantee the model can utilize it effectively. I've encountered many instances where these models can't recall things in their context windows. This frustrating unpredictability is a serious problem when working on a professional grade workflow. So I was quite excited to see Greg Comrat's recent work on the subject. Greg has spent considerable time and budget stress testing both OpenAI's and Anthropic's new context windows. His needle in the haystack process consisted of attempting to retrieve a short fact from nearly every conceivable context length, and his results provide the most robust tests of context window performance I've seen, including these incredibly useful charts detailing the reliability of these new context windows. Along the bottom, x-axis, we see the context length and tokens, and on the left, the y-axis, we see where in the context window the test fact appears. This test fact is his needle in a haystack of other information. In the comments, I'll link to a post on x where he explains this in detail, but since my clients and the world in general is looking for as close to 100% accuracy as possible, let's jump right to the chase. For Claude, the accuracy was nearly 100% up to 19,000 tokens, roughly 10% of its total capacity and roughly 10 to 12,000 words. Beyond this, unpredictability increases with worsening accuracy as context grows. However, GPT-4 showed stronger performance with close to 100% accuracy up to 64,000 tokens, half of its total context window. So while Claude's window spans more overall tokens, its reliable capacity is likely less than half of GPT-4's based on this test. I've heard that placing a table of contents at the start and end of these documents may aid in the retrieval accuracy of these models. However, for production grade workflows, you probably want to aim for as close to 100% accuracy as possible. That means if you're using Claude, you should stick to the 19,000 token limit, and if you're using GPT-4, you might reliably be able to push that up to 64,000 tokens, according to these tests, that is. These limitations are also helpful for designing a RAG or retrieval augmented generation system. When pulling information from a large library of documents into your context window, it probably makes sense to stay within these thresholds. One final note to remember is that this test was for retrieving specific facts from a large context window. Performance may vary if your use case changes. For example, I've found that Claude can be exceptional at summarizing large documents or transcripts. I've got a cheat sheet version of this video and all of my videos available to my Patreon supporters. It includes everything here along with some extra resources related to context window best practices. I've got dozens of cheat sheets in there at this point. All of them are instantly available to anybody who supports this channel and my mission of empowering marketers and entrepreneurs worldwide by providing comprehensive and practical AI skills. There are also some coaching options available if you'd like to work on implementing AI into your workflows. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, and dropping me a comment. That all helps so much, and I'll see you on the next video.